very much indeed, Mr. Colin Smith, again, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for reading and doing exactly what it says on the card. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. The show is called Wham Bam. Why is it called Wham Bam? Well, because with a wham and a bam and a bish bash bosh, there ain't going to be much time for this, Taj. We've only got half an hour to regale you and leave you gagging for more. Now, this is the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School Technical Students Interactive Live TV Showcase 2003! Yeah! So, I'm your host quite literally with the most. I am Captain Spangley. We've got Mr. Colin Smith, who's going to be playing for Instant Wit, some live comedy improvisation for you. Yeah! And then we've got the lovely Mr. Stuart Gordon and Keith Warmington, who are going to be playing three sets of music, you lucky, lucky people. And now I reach for another card. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please in a few moments do exactly what it says on the card? Because Keith and Stuart are about to regale you with the first of their tracks called On A New Day. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith and Stuart! <laughs> Said it's a fine day. Won't you give me the time of day? On a new day, I will carry my love. I'm glad I found you, and in this town too. It took me some time to get round to. On a new day, I will carry my love. And don't you know, you're the one. Said you are my son, far away from the lightning and the rain. Don't you know that it's all right? I'm coming round tomorrow night on a new day. I will carry my love. But in the meantime, you spin me a line Something about keeping on the old wine On a new day, I will carry my love I know you know it, the way you show it Come on, let's make a go of it On a new day, I will carry my love And don't you know you're the one I said you are my son Far away From the lightning And the rain Don't you know That it's alright I'm coming round tomorrow night On a new day I will carry my love A new day, said it's a fine day. Won't you give me the time of day? On a new day, I will carry my love. I know you know it, the way you show it. Come on, let's make a go of it. On a new day, I will carry my love. And don't you know, you're the one. I said you are my son, far away from the lightning and the rain. Don't you know that it's all right? I'm coming round tomorrow night. On a new day, I will carry my, on a new day, I will carry my, on a new day, I will carry my love. Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. 
Big ups there to Keith and to Stuart. Look at the sign, read what it says on the card. Whoopty, whoopty, whoopty woo. So there we are, the golden tonsils of Keith Warmington and Stuart Gordon there on the fiddle, but not literally, obviously. Now, ladies and gentlemen, go absolutely do lally as we meet and greet Daryl, Jane and Babs. <laughs> As Chris mentioned just now, we're going to do a song for you first of all. In order for us to do that song, we need some words. So from anywhere at all in the room, could I have a line from Shakespeare, please? Oh, yeah, yeah. how sweet oh. the moonlight sleeps upon this island. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just repeat it again. <laughs> <laughs> How sweet. How sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. How sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. <clears throat> Excellent suggestion, thank you. And could I have a newspaper headline featuring a famous personality, please? Bush catches fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, painful. Bush catches fire, thank you very much. And could I have a line from the Kama Sutra? <laughs> <laughs> You've all read it. <laughs> Not tonight, I've got a headache. Thank you very much. And finally, ooh, ooh. The, oh, easy, Tigress, easy. Could I please have a stream of abuse to add to this eclectic mix of lines, please? A stream of abuse, please. You're a twat. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to have your dad in, isn't it? <laughs> you're a twat. Would you like to extend that slightly, Dad, uh, sir? Extend it slightly. Um, you're a real big twat. That'll do. <laughs> He likes his themes and he sticks to it. That's lovely. Now, we're just going to have a recap of those disparate slogans, please. How sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. Uh, Bush catches fire. Not tonight, I've got a headache. And you're a real big, big twat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to sing these lines back to you as an unaccompanied madrigal conducted by the very pert buttocks and the very nimble Mr Colin Smith. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 How sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. How sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. How sweet Bush the catches fire. How sweet Bush the catches fire. Not tonight, I've got a headache. Not tonight, I've got a headache. Oh, you're a real big, big twat. Twat under yonder moonlight breaks. What twat under yonder moonlight breaks? How sweet the moonlight on your twatty bush. How sweet is your twat under the moonlight? How sweet is your twat under the moonlight? How sweet is your twat and the bushes are the Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Colin Smith. Absolutely on fire. Now, for the next sketch, what I need now is a range of emotions that you might have felt during the course of the day. So, could you shout them out, please? A range of emotions. Anger. Anger. Bless you, sir. Okay, more? Apathy. Apathy. Elated. I like you. Well done. Lost. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> That's why you're up there. That's good. Keep them out of the way. Keep them out of the way of the same people. That's the idea. A few more? Frustrated. Frustration. Yep. <laughs> it's always the happy ones, the bloke who's lost as well. Lovely. Do you want a packet of custard to cheer yourself up? There we are. <laughs> oh, dear. There we are. It fell to you by default. And uh, did I hear lust in the room? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I did. Who knows? 
<laughs> it's our show. We can do what we like. Now, there's a range of emotions. Now, could I please have... Uh, could I invite, first of all, uh, you two forward, which is uh, Daryl and Jane. Uh, could I have an outdoor pursuit of some sort, please? Climbing. Uh, what did you say? Climbing? Climbing. climbing. And can I, I'm going to go with climbing, so just watch this scene, and I'll freeze it in a second and inject some of your emotions. Thank you. Climbing. Well, Derek, um, I've got the ropes, and uh, we've got the rock. <laughs> right. We need to throw the rope right up to the top and keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> right. Um, it just seems a bit hazardous. Start off by climbing on me back and praying. <clears throat> and freeze. A beautiful scene in its own way, wonderfully crafted. And look at the discipline of the actors. <laughs> they freeze. We like that, don't we? Okay, unfreeze the actors, please, and rewind them. <laughs> We're now going to play exactly the same scene again, injecting it with some of your emotions. And the first emotion, please, is frustration. Thank you very much indeed. <sighs> Throw the fucking rope up the top. Jesus. It's a bit hazardous, isn't it? Just throwing the bloody rope up there, isn't it? Climb on me back and pray. Freeze. <laughs> Again, the discipline is quite awe-inspiring, isn't it? So it's a shame to actually break this one up, but rewind the actors again, please. <laughs> God, you're impressive. They're like just wonderful things. Okay, now as a contrasting emotion, we play exactly the same scene. Elation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Again, we'll just enjoy that particular position. <laughs> Not as much as we're going to enjoy it shortly, because we're now for a final time, for all those of you who heard the word lust, I know I did, we're going to replay it now using the emotion. Rewind the actors, please. <laughs> for a final champ at the bit time, lust. Thank you very much. <laughs> Derek, I've got the rope. <laughs> and there's the rock. Oh. <laughs> Throw it up. <laughs> and then we'll get to the top somehow. It's a bit hazardous doing that. Isn't it? <laughs> Let me climb on your back. <laughs> and I'll pray! <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Daryl and James, thank you. OK, now for the last sketch. You can stop clapping now, madam. You look very attractive there when you're doing it. Very good. OK, now for this third one now in this first section. Um, we need something that someone can get completely obsessed with, please. Chocolate. Chocolate. Thank you very much indeed. Well, that is absolutely extraordinary. Because, Barbara, would you please come on forward? We've got an absolute chocoholic to speak to us this evening. She's absolutely obsessive about it, and she's not afraid to talk about it. So, Barbara, thank you for coming to the studio. Tell us about your fang that is chocolate. Well, uh, I uh, first started eating chocolate when I was, uh, when I was two. Right. And, um, and I've never stopped since. Right. Yeah, I love it. So what was your first bar? Talk us through what that was. It was uh, I made it myself, and, I'd, and it was half of a crab crunchy, and, um, and oh, God, I love crunchy. Mm. Oh, <laughs> and just, oh, and stuff them in all day. Oh, yeah, and half a crunchy, and the other half was a, was a, was a big 
was a was a round thing. It's a curly whirl thing. Huge curly whirl. I was going to oh. say curly whirl. Yes, yes. I was going to say that. I yeah. stuffed that in as well. Right like, then. Oh, God, so fantastic. A bit of a rude question, yeah. I know, but you were two when this happened. Yes. How old are we now? We're, we're now um, 20, 20, 30, 40, 50. <laughs> Thanks very much. 53. It's yes. Just going up all the time, wasn't <laughs> yes. it? Yes, it was, wasn't it? Very, very good indeed. Yes. So now you're 53. Yes. That's a lot of chalky eating, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. And I can tell you that it gets better as you get older. Right. Oh yes. Oh yes. I've, I've got to run on chocolate. I'm a marathon runner. Yes, really. I do it slow. I do it really slow, but yep. I am a marathon runner. Excellent. Oh, yes. So you're keeping fit oh. even though you stuff a lot of chocolate in yeah. there. I put it in any orifice, you know. Well, good. Yeah. That's as may I be. I put it in my ear. Well. I've got some here now. Look, I'll pull it out for you. <laughs> Lovely. There is a finger of fudge. Have it. It's yours. <laughs> it's just enough to give me a treat. I'll and, oh, that. And it, <laughs> But not in that orifice. OK, that's good. So, um, for those of us that aren't yet in the know, sum it up if you can. What is it that, that does it for you vis-à-vis -vis chocolate? Right. Chocolate is, 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 is really fantastic. It's better. It's better than sex. It's better than running. It's better than having a bath. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hope that's helped for some of you that need counselling as well. Miss Barbara, thank you very Thanks much very indeed. Much. Give all your chocolate to me. Bye. Excellent. And yes, there'll be more from Instant Wit uh, later on, but now it's my great pleasure to pa hand back over to the lovely Stuart and the lovely Keith, or the lovely Keith or the lovely Stuart, depending on who pays most for the billing. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, for their next track, which is quite literally called Celebration, because that's what they chose to call it, ladies and gentlemen, please go absolutely do lally for Keith and Stuart. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Ask me for a love song like the ones I used to write. You ask me for a love song just to put our life to right. Will you ask me for a blues tune like the ones? I used to croon He asked me for a blues song Hey, but the blues fall down Just like rain A celebration Of our love A celebration Of our love A celebration of our love Something to Remember me by Don't you know This time I'm going Pack my bags And I'm moving on Don't you know This time I'm going But I leave you with this song This celebration Of our love This celebration Of our love This celebration Of our love Something to Remember me by So you ask me for just one more love song Like the ones I used to write Hey, ask me for a love song Just to put our life to right Just to put our life to right Just to put our life
absolutely fantastic once again. Once again, read the card and do what it says. That's just beautiful. What a lovely song. Now, rest assured, there will be one more song from Keith and Stuart later on. A fantastic song, Chat Shirley. Really beautiful indeed. And now we're going to keep with the musical vein now for the second extract from Instant Wit now. Now, uh, for this, there's uh, another packet of custard. You'll be delighted to know down there, Mrs. Uh, Cummerbund's Joker. So, uh, for this, what I need is um, an obscure foreign country, please. Right. Chad. Chad. Whereabouts is Chad? Sure Chad. Well, that'll, that'll do. We'll go for Chad. Who knows where Chad is? Of course it is. And there you are, madam, for knowing your geography. There we are. <laughs> so, Chad, now, um, we're very lucky because we're going to dip into the international and eclectic world of international folk. Now, we're going to hear a, a folk song all the way from Chad. Could I please have the name of that folk song you'd love to hear and you're just gagging at the, at the bit to hear? Grasshopper Farmers. Well, that's extraordinary because we do have one of Chad's most eminent folk singers here to sing the song Grasshoppers uh, for us. And also we've got Daryl who is going to translate as he speaks fluent Chadian. I'll stick my neck out and say it might be Swahili or something. I don't know. I really don't. But anyway, it's all obscure to me. So would you please go absolutely do lally as Daryl translates Miss Gladys Umbalalala from Chad. Thank you very much. Singing the song Grasshopper. Thank you. It's lovely to see all of you beautiful people here this evening. Make lots of noise when I get to the chorus. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I farm sexy grasshoppers. <laughs> when they're not so sexy, I eat them. <laughs> God of grasshoppers came to me one day. He said, you, you, you are the chosen one. You are. <laughs> Sacrifice your ass to Jimmy Cricket. <laughs> and here we have the famous Chad dance, which always accompanies the song about grasshoppers. Watch her shake her tush. Boom! Tiki Tamba! Boom! Tiki Tamba! Boom! Boom! Hey, dance it! Please take another go! Hey! I love dancing! <laughs> Come on, somebody, make a dance! Thank you very much for letting me sing my song about grasshoppers. <laughs> And those fateful lines, sacrifice your ass to Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> anyway, so now we need a volunteer from the audience, please. Could we please have a volunteer, please, to come on down and be with your uncle, Chris? Come on. You can stroke me cummerbund. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and what's your name, madam? Amy Lou. Amy Lou? Yes. Like Billy Barr, but only Amy Lou. <laughs> yeah. I, I like that. Don't know why I said that, but there we are. OK. Now, could I please invite the lovely Jane and the lovely Babsford? Now, um, nothing untoward's going to happen. That's in the bank. That's a given. I'll put it down there for you. <laughs> now, uh, Barbara and Jane, uh, just to explain, uh, they cannot move of their own volition. It's a posh word, isn't it? Do you understand that one? <laughs> just watch a little bit come out lovely in the end. OK, now they can't move of their own volition, but, but they can speak. Now it's going to be your job to manipulate them and move them as if you are the veritable puppet master of life. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So basically, <laughs> get on with it. Yeah, uh, basically what you need to do is if you need to move their arm up, you do that and it'll stay there because she's quite like that. And if you want to point, uh, do that. And then if you want to put it down again, please do that. If you want them to walk forward, and this counts for both of them, you slap them once on the back of the leg. <laughs> Slap them again if you can, and then that one, and then as if by magic motion occurs. You see what I mean? And back there, get yourself back to it. It'll be all right. Just trust it. It'll work. All right. Okay. And if you want them to smile, you go like this. If you want them to look miserable, you go like that. 
If you want to do... No, don't do that. OK. <laughs> right, then. So are you clear about what you have to do? You've got to puppet master both of them. They'll talk of their own volition but not move. OK, you happy okay. about that? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> For those of you about to die, we salute you. Love it. So could I have a work-based location, please? Mine. Yours? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you work, sir? <laughs> <laughs> down a mine. I'm with you now, Tiger. Sorry about that. <laughs> OK, so this will be down a mine as opposed to at mine. Get off. OK, thank you very much. Right, Gwendolyn, welcome to the uh, Wales' first and only women-only mine. Hello uh, there. It's a bit dark. I can't really see you. <laughs> Turn your light on. Oh, am I on or off? Oh, uh, oh, it's on. Is it? I can't see. I don't know no. if you've got... Um, mine is on too. That's great. <laughs> well, let's... Oh, there you are. Can you see me? <laughs> Shirley. Oh, Gwendolyn. Oh, you're looking great. You've been oh. working out. I can see ready for I mining. I know, I know. I've been uh, down at the gym. Me, yeah, uh, look me at biceps. Your pecs. Uh, look at them. Uh, oh. My pecs. I know. And, well, I was concave before. <laughs> pick up Quite pecs. flat. Well, I'm amazed. Really? Now. So hopefully you can pick up my pick and your own as well. Well, no, that's your job. I'll pick my own up. <laughs> there. Now, I've no idea what to do with it. You're the boss. Right, let me show you. I've got mine just over here. Right. There it is. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I can't quite reach it, though. I'm a bit... Oh, my God! <laughs> do you know, Shirley, I think you've been working out. Your arse looks smaller. <laughs> Have you? Right. Can we do both? Oh, I'm going to take your eye out, then. Sorry, not. Okay, no. <laughs> Sorry, I've got one left. <laughs> right, use your... I nearly had a mistake to me, actually. <laughs> use your left eye. Uh, OK. The thing is, I'm a bit nervous about doing it one-handed pickaxing. Oh, shaky, shaky, I've got the wobbles. Right. If only I could let go of my light, I could use both hands. <laughs> Thanks, fuck for that. Right. Right. I'm a bit cack-handed. There. <laughs> there, that's better. Now, see that bit of gold over there? No, I we, don't. We must Where get closer. It? Come closer, Gwendolyn. There it Shirley, is. Shirley, I'm coming. <laughs> Yeah. Will Barbara meet the seam of gold? <laughs> Will Jane follow? Do we actually care? Come back next year when more capitalist people are graduating. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> you left it just to be heard. Now, the last sketch in this uh, particular uh, section is going to be all high cultured on you. Do you understand that? Easy for li No, God bless you. Of course you do. Going to get all high cultured. It's going to be. Um, could I please have a location where three or four people could quite literally meet, please? An Swimming pool or elevator? You came up. You're on fire. But I'll go for this one up here, which was a uh, swimming pool. You said. So uh, this will take place at a swimming pool, and because it's high cultured, it will be in the style of an opera. Thank you very much indeed. No, so it's so cold in the soul. Oh, Varuka! Mavaruka! No. <laughs> Piscine oh. water! Chemical oh. oh. no. Nobody knows! Chemical. Nobody knows! Oh. Nobody knows! Oh. 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 Nobody knows! Oh. Nobody knows! 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 Voruko, voruko, voruko. My foot is wrong. Don't can I go you? Don't can I go you? No, shaggy in the pony. No, shaggy in the pony. Me voruko, me shaggy in the pony. Don't can I go you?
it was easier three years ago, was it? That's lovely. So, no, and now, while well, we catch our breath back, it's now nearly time for the show. We've got one more special treat now coming up from the lovely Keith and the lovely Stuart. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you please go absolutely do that for a final time with their song, which is called It's Hammer Time, because it's called Take This Hammer and Listen to Where We'll Shove It. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here's my hammer Won't you take it to the captain Here's my hammer Won't you take it to the captain Here's my hammer Won't you take it to the captain You can tell him I'm gone You can tell him I'm gone If he should ask you where was I running? If he should ask me now, where was I running? You can tell him I was flying. Yeah, you can tell him I was flying. Tell him I'm gone. I'm long, long gone. Mr. Keith Warmington and the absolutely breathtaking fiddle of Mr. Stuart Gordon. A big round of applause again for these two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to leave you with a tiny little something we prepared earlier. Do jam along if you'd like to, chaps. Thank you very much indeed. We have been instant wit, and thank you very much indeed. 
When you're in the mood for something soft and sweet Feeling right down in the dumps A mixing bowl of whisk An action with a wrist Will help you gently smooth away the lumps A life is just a frothy bowl of whipped supreme Keep it down and you'll keep laughing fit Whether it's firm or runny Nothing's quite as funny As a steaming pile of instant wit Put in the ingredients, mix them up a bit Have a taste and tell the world just what you thought of it So, so shuck away the custard pies, jelly like the, the jelly It's time to dispel the creme caramel, make room inside your belly no, If you're feeling empty, come and see us again We'll try to make you laugh a little bit Because the future's bright, it's clear to read The future's bermond and it's sugar free Digesting inwardly Ease and wit. Yeah! <laughs>